so welcome everyone uh, welcome to my channel in this video we'll be learning about how you can transpose your spiro cylinder form to a cross cylinder form where the cross cylinder form is a, another way of writing lens prescription but uh, this form is uh, usually never used to write the spectacle lens prescription however this uh, cross cylinder form it gives you in-depth understanding of power of each meridian without need of adding or subtracting or it divides spiro cylinder prescription uh, into two plano cylinder with their axis 90 degree apart from the one another and this cross cylinder form of uh, prescription writing is one of the method of calculating gross and net retinoscopy values also and it is also a way of representing your keratometry reading so now we'll go to the steps uh, which we follow when uh, we convert our spiro cylinder to the cross cylinder form so suppose uh, you have given a prescription which is plus 5 diopter spherical with minus 2 diaptrical cylinder at 90 degree so step one is uh, to find the first cross cylinder uh, so step one is uh, to find the first cylinder to find the first cross cylinder power write the spherical power of spiro cylinder prescription which is uh, given to us and uh, but the axis will be 90 degree apart from the cylindrical axis of the spiro cylinder so it will be 90 degree apart which is already given in a spiro cylinder form so our first cylinder is so first cross cylinder will be equal to 5 diopter cylinder but here axis will be 90 degree apart from the cylindrical axis of the spiro cylinder form so here it is 90 so 90 degree apart mean here it will be 180 degree so we have found our first cross cylinder to find out the second cross cylinder so what we have to do is we have to add our spherical power to the cylindrical power and the axis will be same as the spiro cylinder power so in our case spherical power is plus 5 and plus minus 2 so total will be plus 3 diaptrical cylinder and axis at 90 degree because it will be same as your spiro cylinder prescription so when you write a final prescription you are gonna write plus 5 diaptrical cylinder axis 180 degree slash plus 3 diaptrical cylinder axis at 90 degree uh, so there is another way of representing our uh, cross cylinder value so cross cylinder form is easier when cylindrical component are visualized on the power cross so suppose we have given a prescription which says plus 5 diaptrical spherical with minus 2 at 90 degree okay so we gonna draw these two in a power cross so power cross mean so we know now we have to draw a cross so as it is uh, towards the 90 so the other meridian will be towards the 180 so it will look like something like this where this meridian belongs to 90 and this is 180 degree in case of power cylinder write spear power as it is okay and but where to write it will be written towards the axis of cylindrical power which was given to us in a spiro cylinder form so here it will be 5 towards 90 degree so we're gonna write 5 towards the 90 degree and uh, to find out the second meridian we're gonna add these two where spherical and the cylindrical will be added together and it will give us plus 3 towards the 180 degree, uh, which is the opposite to the cylindrical power of the pyro cylindrical form because before it was a 90 so here we are using a 180 degree so there is a one more form which say alternate cross form here in this instead of writing the axis meridian we're gonna specify the power meridian so here it will be plus 5 diaptrical cylinder at 90 degree and you have plus 3 diaptrical cylinder at 180 degree so this at represent the power is on that particular meridian whereas here 
our x represent it is the axis of that particular meridian so when you write a final prescription of any of these way so you're gonna write it as plus 5 diaptrical cylinder at 90 degree slash plus 3 diaptrical cylinder at 180 degree so thank you everyone i hope you like the video if you like the video please do like and subscribe if you have any queries you can put in a comment uh, section i'll be happy to reply them so thank you everyone